Hello everyone, welcome back to Rome 2. Rome 2? No, Napoleon. Oh, so much Total War, so much this, so much that. Anyway. Fun and games, ladies and gentlemen, fun and games. So you can see here that I've actually sent this army down in order to try and take one of the last vestiges of France because the Prussians have pretty much taken everything else. And you can see here that I have actually successfully taken Paris, but we can't afford to repair everything here. So, But we do have an army standing by, replenishing, and we obviously have another army there, replenishing. So, let's see. Now, the problem is, is the Prussians are going to be an issue, as you can see. But I think we need to focus on the Spaniards next. So, obviously, maybe we should consider going for Corsica. In which case, we will need to recruit some frigates. And then roll over and say hello to Corsica. After I think we've dealt with this. And then that will hopefully, essentially, wipe out the French faction entirely. So let's end the turn. And let's set him to attack that. And then we'll get underway and see how it goes. That guy really needs to walk faster. So there are still some French forces sniffing around. Especially navies around the toe of Italy. But the English navy who, with whom we are allied could turn out to be a good thing. We'll wait and see. Look at all those armies. God. Russians are so powerful right now. They own so much land. Ah. Join the war against the Kingdom of Spain. Hmm. They give us the metric system and give us money. What the hell? So we're against the Spaniards as well now. And the Russians are sniffing around doing things. Now if they break the... It would be kind of under funny because if they attack the Prussians then there's a distinct possibility that I won't go to assist them. So, let's see. There's the Spanish Navy getting into a punch-up with the Brits and taking out that Navy. Right, so we have recruited a gentleman here. And he's at that classical university. And there are loads of enemies in there. So, let us see who we can duel. Let us duel this gentleman. Hmm. What? Oh dear. Ich muss rasten. So he lost the jewel. Okay. And we've got trade unions. Let what? Okay. So if we look at Paris, France, they're exempt from tax. God damn it! The lower class is angry. 
because of foreign occupation. I could make you even angrier, but I'm not going to. I'm in the process of repairing your stuff, man. Shut the hell up. Let's repair that. At least then... The workers have rioted in France, of course. Let them riot. I'll just kill them all. And there we go. Better roads. And that was the agent who was recruited, so... Okay, let's see. Let's send this gentleman down here. Hmm, interesting. Ah. Oh, it's nappy. Oh, fantastic. This should be interesting. We'll send him back to Corsica and then we'll invade Corsica just to piss him off. Karl von Osterich Teschen. There we go. Related to ostriches, I guess. But. We shall have to wait and see. So. The battle is afoot against Napoleon. It's a. I believe it is a or something like that. The Accent a gear or whatever it's called. Anyway. Let's see, the cannons could potentially, I've obviously got 6 pounder, 6 pounder, 12 pounder, we could put them there like so. Now let's see, if we deploy those, what sort of range does that give me? That gives me reasonably okay range, and the 12 pounder gives me even better range, so yeah, that'll be a fine location for them. Now. The Grenadiers will, of course, act in defence of the artillery, as they always do. These guys will go into their light infantry behaviour. But I don't think I'm actually going to marry them up with the other guys this time. I'm actually going to put them in one. And what I'm going to do is put these guys around the front here. And they're going to set up the spikes as soon as it's available. So, what we then need is a section of four. So if we put those guys as two, just get them out of the way. We'll have a section of four here. And these guys will go there. And then we'll have another section of four. And these guys can go here. And then the final section will act as backup reinforcements. And they'll remain there. General will stay there. Those guys over there. We should get the lances behind. Actually, you know what? Let's put the lancers right out on the far flank. Put these guys here. So. Let's get underway, shall we? So the 12 pounder will start firing very quickly indeed. Right, so you can see here. A lot of forces coming up on the right. So, if we move these guys over to there, and then we move these guys to support them, we can have a good long strong line. Have these guys here guarding the midpoint. Let's set these guys to set up the spikes now. And let's send the cavalry 
up. Just sneak around the back. There we go. Send those guys out as well. So we are effectively shifting the entire thing over. And this is the anti-cavalry spikes, which these guys are going to stick in place. And basically to protect any cavalry, or protect any charge coming in from those guys. So what we'll then do is we'll move these guys up here. So you can see the fire coming in. The 12 pounder can focus on Nappy. The other two are focusing elsewhere. So let's see, can we get these two here to focus their attention over here maybe? Yeah, they can do it. small little section here they are militia so they could get broken quite easily let's get those guys running as well right let's get all these guys running into position we can't afford to wait going on. But the trouble is, is this section here. This is the problem I'm going to have. Those guys can stop and fire. Guys, to so move round and force the issue. How are these guys doing? They're not breaking yet, I hope. No, they've got good morale. firing from cover so I'll move those guys over there. Oh dear. Now let's see. Let's send these guys around the back. And let's send these guys here. See, the battle is getting pretty intense. See plenty of militias pushing forward. Let's get the cannons firing down there as well. And let's get these guys in. Let's put a bombardment. Victories, huh? to be As you can see here, the middle of the line is starting to break somewhat. But we are holding it. So 
so now you can see this line here. We need to basically do that like that. Close the door, so to speak. Guys continuing to fire. Did a great job. As you can see the main battle is still here. Gonna have to move these guys up a little bit. Oops, wrong way around. To close that hole. So there we go, they're now starting to break. can do is do another artillery on that lot. And then we can bring all of these up. Like so continue to move across. These guys can hold this line. Guys can hold that. And then we've got these boys to say hello. So we'll put one set on there, one set on there. I'm getting feathers. Oh look, it's nappy. Let's get nappy instead. Get him, fellas. There we go, they're breaking. guys can be pushed in on. Those guys can be focused with RT. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Of course our general is. Nah, screw it. So let's see. Is Nappy dead? No, he's not dead. Where is Nappy? Ah, there he goes. So, what we'll do is we'll send these guys across to go after the Nap. He must be. Really? He's the last man? No way. Bloody hell it is. Isn't it? So. Let's see. These guys, whoops. They want to focus their attention that way. Run. These guys here. Want to get all the artillery shooting at them. Citizenry. Get that French garrison. I think there's no way we're going to get Nappy. He's too far gone. Crossed. 
get those guys down towards the citizenry. Get those guys fighting. Yeah, Nappy's long gone, look at him. There he goes. Six of his men left. So lads, shoot the shit out of them. And now you can see these guys can push in on them. Here we go. Well, we didn't. We didn't kill Nappy, but we pretty much wiped out his entire army. Um, we only lost 698 men and only like 50 orders, 60 odd to team kills. So that's good. Peacefully occupy. So there we go. Auxiliary grizzled old sergeant. Great. Trait grained a uh, drill master. Tick tock, tick tock. And Aquitaine has it been captured. So that now means, obviously, that um, everything is, the army is now starting to replenish, which is great. Now, let's zoom back in here. So you can see, basically, we've now got those points. These points here are being held by Prussia, but they're cut off. We can then deal, is that a point of Spain? Is that, is that, sorry, not Spain, but France? No. Okay, so that's the Mecklenburg Strelitz, or whatever the hell they're called. But, what we now need to consider is the last holdings of the French Empire. So, it's time to do some recruitment. So we'll build that, and then we'll move on to the next turn, and see what fortune brings us. As you can see, the Austrian Empire is pretty massive right now. And let's look at our research. So, we've now got to build a military academy so that we can carry on our research. Um, as you can see, everything's researched there. The, um, plate ways? What the hell is that? Oh. Steam engine. Let's do that. There we go. Now, it looks like in Orléans, I have all the enemy agents, which is a bit of a problem. So. Let's send him back. Hmm. <laughs> Not a chance. So many armies. I 
And so the Russians continue to sniff around. To be honest, all they're doing is they're just moving forces back and forth within their own area. But we need to consider what's going on with the Ottomans. As that's probably going to be our next point of contention, or at least our... Oh, we're bankrupt. Oh dear. Rebellion in France. Yes, great. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh heavens. Oh bloody hell. Those rebellious dogs. Oh well. Huge stack armies. Yeah. So let them rebel. And let's bring this guy. Yeah. What he said. So we'll get him to move in as well. We'll get him. Actually, we'll get him in here and get him to attack from there. So I'm feeling confident because I've got two very high stack armies. And they are fully replenished now. So it's going to be interesting to see how we deal with this French rebellion at the same time as we continue to build ships here. And then obviously go over and twat Corsica, which is essentially where we're going. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That has been Napoleon. See, got it right that time. Total War for this week. We'll see you next time.